What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. We've been hyping it up for a while now, but the big day is finally here. Finalbossformance.com. Code RGF10 will save you 10% off of the Anabars, man. I believe when I say that these are the best tasting protein bars you will ever have in your life, you're gonna love them, but I'm tired of telling y'all that. I'm ready for you guys to try them out and let me know what you think. I guarantee we're gonna sell out this weekend, so get on there, man. If you're seeing this, you're watching this, get there, try them out, you won't regret it. In honor of the big launch, today what I'm gonna do is go through a full day of eating and show you guys what I'm consuming on a daily basis that uh, keeps me shredded, keeps me lean, keeps me anabolic. So I'm not gonna waste any of your time here, guys. It is breakfast time, I'm starving, we're just gonna hop into it. So without further ado, if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Just to put it into perspective, I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at with a little physique update. I wouldn't say I'm shredded by any means, but this type of physique I can maintain year round. And it's pretty um, effortless for the most part. I eat foods I love. I'm not in such a crazy deficit that I'm miserable. And um, it's more of like, I would call this the lifestyle physique, you know? I got abs. I'm not scared to take my shirt off at the pool. I look like I lift, at least I hope so. But yeah, this is where we're at. So now, um, let's see, meal one. I'm gonna show you guys what a real diet looks like. Come on. So I got five simple ingredients here laid out and what I'm gonna do is make chocolate chip waffles. Literally, this has become like my favorite way to start the day and it's so simple, I can have this ready in a matter of like five minutes. And keep in mind, I got videos on my channel for all of these recipes, but if you want the ultimate guide right in your pocket, the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, link down below, man. It's got every one of my recipes in here and basically when I have a craving or an urge for a food that I want, but I know if I go get it somewhere, it's gonna throw me off my diet, I just make my own anabolic version, crush that craving and keep it pushing. Let's get it started. And we got meal one ready to go. Didn't take no time at all. Fluffy anabolic chocolate chip waffles. I don't know about you, but to me, uh, I could eat this for breakfast every single day. So in this meal, this massive stack of waffles at meal one, we got 10 grams of fat, 54 grams of protein, 44 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fiber. Right now, hopefully you can see that. It is 1229, yes, 1230 in the afternoon. Normally I wake up, I train right away, do my cardio, and then um, I fast until like 11 or noon, depending. And I feel like that gives me more time to eat more food in a smaller window so I'm more full when I'm running a bigger deficit. But you'll see what the numbers are by the end of this. Get down in here, get a big bite. We got that sugar-free maple syrup, chocolate chips down the side. Let's go. Mm. Seriously, folks, if you haven't made this one for breakfast yet, you need to. The chocolate, fluffy waffles, doesn't even feel like you're dieting, yet you're keeping it anabolic and uh, living your best life, to be honest. And then once I'm finished with the chocolate chip waffles, what I do is take an Anabar, bust her open. This is the cinnamon swirl crunch one. Pull her out. You can see we actually got crispy pieces of cinnamon toast crunch down in here. But I got this leftover syrup. I don't want it to go to waste. So I dip it, get a nice covering. Then I just do this. You ain't gonna go wrong when you do what I just did, trust me. So we're gonna go ahead and call this meal two. In this we have 11 fat, 21 protein, 24 carb, two grams of fiber. Like I said, when you're running behind in your day and you do a little bit of fasting, you got some calories to use up. So I'm gonna finish this, get to work, and I'll be back at the third meal. Come on. It is now about 2.30 p.m. and it is time for meal three. What we got here, these are my anabolic Chick-fil-A nuggets. I still gotta air fry them, but they're gonna turn out delicious. Basically, we marinate them in pickle juice, toss some seasonings on them, and they come out just like Chick-fil-A. It's amazing, watch the video if you haven't. If you got the cookbook, I mean, you, are, you know what you gotta do. And then over here is basically some low calorie crinkle fries. It's gonna make a great meal here, like we're eating fast food, but we're doing it at home and keeping it healthy and anabolic. Let's go.
it is time for our third meal. Now in the Chick-fil-A nuggets, the fries, and the G Hughes barbecue sauce, what we got is only 11 grams of fat, 54 grams of protein, 29 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. Everybody overthinks it, man. Fries aren't bad for you. You buy the right ones, you make them, you count your calories, hit your protein goal, you're gonna be fine. Let's try one of these nuggets, man. You can see, air frying them, a seasoning coats to them. You got that little pickle flavor infused. It's fast food at home. Get a little bit of dip in that barbecue. Mmm, and obviously a fry. I mean, it's a fry. And I understand some of you might be confused. I'm getting my cars detailed right now, so. That's what that was, in case you were wondering. So it's about 3 p.m. I'm gonna get back to editing this video, doing some work on my computer. I'll check in with you guys for mill four. I go. So I'm in the middle of editing this video that you are watching and I need me a snack, man. So meal four, we got a PB&J Anabar and a zero sugar root beer. This is by far my favorite diet pop at the moment. In meal four, we got 11 grams of fat, 21 grams of protein, 21 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, and obviously the root beer is zero calories, so we're good. Talk about filling you up, man. The carbonation in this root beer is insane. The flavor's on point. Mm. And then the PB&J Anabar, compared to the Cinnamon Swirl Crunch one, we still got puffy rice pieces in this one, so it's got like some crunch to it. But the real thing is that flavor, man. It's a little sweeter, a little more tantalizing. Mm. And it literally crumbles apart just like a soft baked cookie. Mm. Ever since I got these, I've been having at least two Anabars a day, almost every day. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what's up. But anyways, I need to get back to editing this, and then I'm gonna see you guys at dinner. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at dinner. It's gonna be my final meal of the day, and I wanted something filling, but also delicious, a craving crusher. So instead of going to like a B-dubs, another chicken fried joint, what I'm gonna do is make some crispy fried boneless wings at home, along with some roasted sweet potatoes. So I've already breaded and floured and done all that to my chicken. I'm gonna make some Parmesan garlic boneless wings, and we're gonna toss them in this beauty. Like I said, I got a video on this, so go find it if you wanna know how I make these. Or if you got the cookbook, you're already good to go. So without further ado, let's get started. Started. All right, baby, dinner is served. It is about 5 p.m. I'm eating a little earlier than normal because I wanna use this daylight to my advantage. I'm filming a video when it's pitch black, it's not very fun. So final meal, you already saw, man. We got the anabolic crispy Parmesan garlic boneless wings. Check that video or recipe out. We got the roasted sweet potatoes and we got the G Hughes barbecue sauce once again. Start with the boneless wing. Oh gosh, would you look at that. Mm, one of my favorite recipes. Take the sweet potato, dip it in the G. Solid, baby. Now in my final meal, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the entire thing is 596 calories, 12 grams of fat, 56 grams of protein, 66 grams of carbs, nine grams of fiber. That puts my daily totals at 2,055 calories, 55 grams of fat, 206 grams of protein, 184 grams of carbs, 25 grams of fiber. So right now on my diet, I'm doing right around 2,000 calories a day. I find for me that gives me a pretty significant deficit. That gives me my one cheat meal a week and um, I notice the results really quick that way. I mean, I'm feeling really good. If I wanted to, if I cut cheat meals out, I could probably be like really, really lean in just a few weeks. I'm not that far away, but I like where I'm at. I got a nice balance on life. Everything's good. And as you notice in this video, I don't really care about what foods are quote unquote good or not good for me. As long as I hit my calories every day, my protein goal every day, I am totally fine with it. There's people that say you can't have any sugar at all. Sugar's bad. People that say you can't have white flour. White flour is gonna make you blow up like that girl from Willy Wonka. Parmesan garlic sauce, some people would never use because it's quote unquote too high in calories. But let me tell you, as long as you're weighing things out and you are tracking them and you are hitting your calorie goal every day and you're eating a high protein anabolic diet, you will see results. End of the day, that is it, man. I don't care what anybody else said. My results are not lying to me. This is what I do. This is how I live. This is my lifestyle, baby. So if you want to eat good and you want something that's sustainable, you better try this out. I appreciate you guys, as always, for checking out the channel. Hopefully you got some value out of this. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Help that algorithm out. If you are grabbing anabars, comment below what flavors you're getting. The white chocolate cookies 
cheese and cream I do not have in my hands yet, but it is my favorite bar. So I'm telling y'all, the other two are incredible. The white chocolate, amazing. So let me know which flavors you're getting. I promise you're gonna love them. Finalbossformance.com, could RJ at 10 will save you 10%. And if you liked what you saw in this video and this looks like a sustainable diet, one that you could do as long as you follow my rules, check out the RJF Anabolic Cookbook link in my description. If you got a craving, we are here to crush it. We aren't giving up foods entirely. We don't lie to ourselves and cut things out completely, which leads to binges. We eat a sustainable diet. We get results when we do this. We just have the accountability to track our calories, track our protein, and, and at the end of the day, that's it. That's all you gotta do, man. Don't overthink this. Eat good food, live your best life, and that's it. Mm. Appreciate you guys as always for checking the channel out, man. I am out of here. I'm gonna eat this and finish editing this video. Appreciate all you guys showing support in any way that you can. means the world to me. And keep crushing it, ladies and gentlemen. So until next time, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Don't be jealous, baby. Mm -hmm.